compassionate viewers, and welcome to Vegetarianism, the Noble Way of Living. To commemorate the Lunar New Year and the coming Year of the Rabbit, today's show is a special tribute to our gentle vegan rabbit friends around the world whose big hearts and heroic deeds benefit the well-being of humanity. Rabbits are known for their affectionate nature and peaceful character. They make loving companions to humans who wish to share their life with and care for these hopping little ones. However, rabbits are not just cute and cuddly friends. In many occasions, they have shown their intelligence and devotion to helping humans. Let us first listen to a few words from a wise rabbit named Hashian via telepathic animal communicator Elizabeth Berger from Austria and our association member Lena. Hashian explains rabbits' special purpose in our world and their noble character. It is my mission to bear testimony of all this on behalf of all the rabbits. We would love to be friends with humans and we are grateful to all humans who have shown kindness to us. We will do anything to protect such humans. Rabbits do their work humbly and silently and most of the time we are not aware of their important support for the health and balance of our planet. Rabbits stabilize the energy in the fields and the woods. They usually build their shelters on strategic energy points, thus channeling vital cosmic energy for all living beings. Just with pure loving presence, rabbits can bring great benefit and abundance to their surroundings. In places where many rabbits live in peace, there is also a very happy atmosphere and everything grows better and within a radius of two to five or more miles or three to eight or more kilometers of this place is blessed. As the guest of honor at the Greenest Heroes Gala held in Cancun, Mexico on December 5, 2010, Supreme Master Ching Hai shared insights on the blessings animals bring to our lives, including rabbits. If you raise them in your, in your yard, he or she will bless you spiritual points. For example, today you earn only 100 spiritual points by something, he will give you five more or ten more to add on top every day like that. Can you imagine? A chicken even, so small and helpless, will bless you two percent to six percent, six percent or ten percent because you give them vegan, then they have more power to bless you. A rabbit from four percent to six percent. The more merit you have, the multiply of the blessing from the animals and angels and deities and saints and sages and spiritual practitioners. Rabbit is also a powerhouse of love, almost next to the well, yes, for example. On many occasions, Supreme Master Ching Hai has revealed the vital physical as well as spiritual role of animals on earth. She has described rabbits as having high noble quality, or NQ, and loving quality, or LQ. Now, for wild animals, I'm surprised again, just like you will be. Their LQ has a range of high, also from 300 to a low 30. The rabbit, 110% LQ. Imagine the rabbit that hover around. They look so cute, 110% LQ. So NQ is important. LQ also very important. In addition to their invisible blessings, rabbits also offer humans direct physical help. They are known to have warned people of fires, alerted their human companions when an intruder has entered the home, or rendered their help during a life-threatening sickness or seizure. Karen, one of the founders of Boeing, or Bunny Online Information News Group, in Melbourne, Australia, explains more about these aspects of their nature. 
Boeing organization does its honorable work for our long-eared co-inhabitants by encouraging people to adopt rabbits and also offering tips on how to take care of a rabbit friend. This is what Karen has observed during her time with rabbits. There's obviously something that's warning them that there's a danger nearby. So in the middle of the night, if the bunnies are thumping, we'll get up and have a walk around. And it could be somebody outside or it could be danger that we should know about. So we do get up and have a bit of a look around. We sort of call them our security alarms on the inside of the house. To communicate with each other, rabbits use body language. For example, they press their ears back and crouch in a small ball when endangered. Or when frightened, they thump the ground with a hind foot. A rabbit in a social area would um, thump to let the rest of the rabbits know that there's danger involved. So the rest of the rabbits can relax while one's looking out for the others. Rabbits will also communicate in the same manner with their human companions when sensing danger. Let us now explore a few stories demonstrating the observant nature of rabbits. The first story takes us to Melbourne, Australia, where a little bunny friend helped to save her human family members during a fire emergency. Michelle Finn and her partner Jerry Kao were sleeping when a fire was ignited from their malfunctioning heater. The only one who was awake and alert of the situation was their bunny companion named Rabbit. Well, he, he's in his cage at night, which is in our lounge room, which was only sort of two rooms away from where the, the fire started. And um, yeah, he would, have, he would have got all the smoke and everything before we did because we sort of keep that side of the house closed off to keep him warm at night <laughs> and um, yeah so we woke up to a lot of thumping and trying to escape and and noise and when we when we did wake up we're like what's what's wrong with the rabbit and um, then we could hear glass breaking so Jerry got up to investigate and yeah the house was on fire so yeah it so was scary. The neighbors came to help them put out the blaze before the arrival of the fire department. Mick Smith, a commander for the Metropolitan Fire Service in Melbourne, said the rabbit saved the couple. During that time, rabbit was only six months old. Despite his tender age, the little heroic being proved he was a guardian angel for his family members. For his intelligent efforts in rescuing his human caregivers, Supreme Master Ching Hai honored Rabbit with the Crystal Shining World Hero Award. The next story is also about a rabbit helping to rescue his caregiver from the dangers of fire. Linford is an adopted bunny friend who found his new home in the United Kingdom with Trisha Danson. One evening, while Trisha was working on her computer, Linford started thumping rather energetically. Ignoring it at first as normal rabbit behavior, Trisha soon realized something was wrong when Linford did not give up on his thumping. Trisha looked up to see flames roaring outside her window. She called the fire department and followed their instructions to leave her home. When the fire department came, they discovered the couch had caught on fire and extinguished the flames. The chief fire officer said that Linford's heroic actions had saved Trisha's life. Another story about Rabbit's inborn quality to watch over their family members takes us to Warren Taylor's and Casey Leather's home in England, United Kingdom. When they had bedded for the night, the couple did not realize that the ring on a gas bottle had accidentally been left open. Combustible gas began to spread throughout and engulf their home. Luckily, Superbugs, their little rabbit friend, smelled these gas fumes. She hopped with all her might to their bedroom door and scratched it in a valiant attempt to awaken her human companions. What makes the story even more extraordinary is that every night, Superbugs is kept in the kitchen to keep her safe from electric wires. Mr. Taylor said, She must have jumped up and knocked the door handle. She's a hero. What a quick thinking and courageous rabbit. In the next stories, the vigilance of rabbits in their surroundings and their timely actions have kept their caregivers safe. In the town of Middlesbrough in the United Kingdom, a clever rabbit named April helped to stop a burglary. 
As a thief had entered their yard and was trying to escape with the lawnmower from a garden shed, little April was awakened. She tried her best to make noise with her paw on the wooden floor to alert her caregiver. Hearing the fuss, Chris Smeaton, her hewing companion, went to check what was going on. Mr. Smeaton came out just in time to stop the thief and hand him over to law enforcement officials. All this was thanks to April. With their keen intuition, these little furry angels also care for their human companion's overall well-being. The next stories illustrate how rabbits can sense people's serious health conditions and communicate this in order to save them. Dory, a loving and perceptive bunny, saved her caregiver from a coma. Simon Stegall from More Boys in Cambridgeshire, United Kingdom, has had diabetes since he was a child. One day, while watching television, he passed out on the sofa. His wife, Victoria, initially thought he was simply taking a nap, but Dory immediately noticed that something was not right. Determined to catch Victoria's attention, Dory hopped onto Simon's chest and frantically tapped him. Only then did Victoria realize the dire situation and called the paramedics as she was unable to render further emergency aid. Because of Dory's resolute actions, Simon's life was saved. Mrs. Stegall commented, I work for the ambulance service and I'm embarrassed that the rabbit spotted it before I did. Mr. Stegall has had other animal companions who have helped warn him when his blood sugar levels were out of line. He said, When I told my specialist about what had happened, he said he had heard of cats and dogs acting this way, but never a rabbit. What a truly special and invaluable friend Dory is to the Stegall family. Another story takes us to Port Byron, Illinois, USA, where furry hero Robin the Rabbit also saved her caregiver from a coma. One evening, while his human companions were asleep, Robin began to make a lot of commotion in her sleep quarters. This awakened Ed Murphy, who soon realized his pregnant wife Darcy had slipped into a gestational diabetic coma. She was immediately rushed to the hospital, where she stayed for five days to stabilize. According to Dr. Anita Pink, the family's obstetrician, Robin's actions were trying to convey to Mr. Murphy. Wake up, wake up. Something is wrong with your wife. Thanks to Robin's love and attentiveness, not only was Mrs. Murphy saved, but she later gave birth to a healthy baby girl. As rabbits are sensitive and caring beings, they are also concerned about their caregiver's emotional well-being they can perceive how the people around them feel. Following is an excerpt from an interview with Nimal, a co-founder of Boeing, Bunny Online Information News Group, explaining the nature of our vegan rabbit friends. They bring a lot of joy to our lives, and they're just a lot of fun to be around. They're full of life, full of beans, and so if you're not feeling well or you're upset about something, they really do help you take your mind off it. Sebastian also confirmed this from a rabbit's point of view. Rabbits empathise with humans that are sad and try to cheer them up. But many humans feel no pity at all for all these suffering rabbits. Rabbits can't understand why they behave like that and they are afraid of such humans. Rabbits show unconditional love for humans, but they also wish humans to open their hearts and let compassion lead their lives. Rabbits wish very much that humans and their children are happy and that they could enjoy each other's love and that their homes and all their relatives would be blessed over several lifetimes. But this can only happen if humans stop eating rabbits or any other animals and instead treat them with kindness and protect them. Supreme Master Ching Hai has spoken on several occasions of the sweet nature of rabbits. 
In a gathering with our association members in Dusseldorf, Germany, Supreme Master Ching Hai shared an adorable story about the affection between a rabbit and a chicken. You know, I had once a chicken and a rabbit, and the, the, the rabbit was so enamorous of the chicken, he uh, copied her everything. He always wanted to go near that chicken, and he began to be in love with her all the time. The chicken can fly a little bit high, you know, jump on the chair, and the rabbit was too low. So first, he jumped on the small chair, and then from the small chair, he jumped to the higher chair. So he go near the chicken. <laughs> yeah, he's so clever. If he is with the chicken, he eat whatever the chicken eat, he eat it, no matter what. And he was so loving with that chicken. He run around her all the time, you know, rubbing on her wings and uh, want to kiss her and all that. My God, I wish I could make the whole world understand that animals, they're just like us. They truly are like us. We are deeply grateful that creation has graced our world with these cherished, adorable furry rabbit friends who bring so much blessing and protection into our world. Thank you, kind-hearted viewers, for joining our program today on vegetarianism, the noble way of living. Coming up next is Between Master and Disciples on Supreme Master Television. On this auspicious beginning of the Lunar New Year and the Year of the Rabbit, may we all turn towards kindness and appreciation for all beings as we create a harmonious and peaceful future together. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash V-E-G